called it quits. So, uh, but the, the part that Susan did mention about us really going out and that being one of the first times that we actively um, interacted with the press, kind of uh, not in a defensive posture, reacting to accusations of one thing or another, but really going out and saying, look, this is our story. This is what we do. We'd like you to come in so we can have an opportunity to tell you about it and then draw your own conclusions. And it was really very successful for us. And that's something that we have done more of in the uh, years since then. And we're continuing to do even now. Um, I, you know, it, it's always kind of a tricky thing when you're interacting with the press because they have a context that they walk in with. Uh, some of that is information that they get from animal activist groups. Uh, some of it is their own experiences that they may have had in laboratories, you know, sometime previously. Um, and when they walk into what is a modern laboratory setting which uses animals in research, it tends to be quite a bit different than the conceptions they had when they walked in the door. And so part of what we're trying to do is get that message out to them, show them what happens, <coughs> uh, be open, be transparent, and really get the message across. And we've actually had very good luck with, with the press, too. or at least the press in the uh, uh, more reputable um, newspapers and, and channels of the city. Some of the ones that are, are less reputable, if I can say that, we haven't had quite so much luck with, but um, I think that's more of a function of the quality of the reporter as opposed to the message that goes out. Um.